I heard this 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 little wives tale uh, that I that just resonated with me. He goes, a tiger and a and a donkey is arguing. And the donkey says the sky. He says the grass is blue. And the tiger says the, no, it's green. And they're arguing back and forth. And they go. They said, well, let's la- ask the king of the jungle. So they go to the lion. The tiger and the and the donkey goes to the to the to the lion and says, I told him that the the grass was blue. He go, am I not? Will you tell him the, the the truth of that? And the lion goes, absolutely, donkey, you're absolutely right. And he prances off. He goes, not. He goes, well, what are you gonna? The donkey says, what are you gonna do about this? He goes, I'm gonna punish the tiger accordingly. And he says, see, I told you. And the donkey runs off. And then the tiger says uh, to the lion, you know that the grass is green. He goes, and I'm telling the truth. Why are you? Why are you? punishing me he says i'm not punishing you because the grass is green he goes i'm punishing you because you're arguing with a jackass <laughs> right <laughs> yo 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 what up square pit brigade on this episode we have comedian and good friend ryan reese he's here we discuss why ryan loves the crazies spotting the red flags and the best way to deal with mentally unstable women uh, this is a really good one. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, this um, is a this is a great ex- this is a great story. If you love crazy stories, this is a great episode, and this is a great exep- episode of what you should and shouldn't do, especially if you're dating a crazy. And if you love the show and all the advice we give you, please join us over at Patreon.com/slash/Manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content. We uh, continue our conversation this week with Ryan Reese as we talk a little bit more about uh, the reasons you can't let these red flags slide. And that's really, really important. So patreon.com slash manschool202. Also, uh, Dante uh, does relationship consultations. You can go to uh, DanteNero.com and click on consult. And if you want a relationship consultation from me, you can email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com. Let's get it. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Well, what's up, Square Pimper Gabe? G Y B B B W W D D. What would Dante do? The Sexual Revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited uh, because this is a special show. Um, now I know I might have said that 600 times before, but this time I mean it because we got a we got a special guest. Friend of the show, but first and foremost, I gotta say what's up to my partner in crime. What's going on, Harry? What's popping? Oh, Dante, you know me, living the best life, living the high life, right? I don't even know why you'd, you'd, you'd even check in with me. I'm doing great. You know that. You know well, that. I mean, I'm supposed to. I, You're I'm supposed kinda, to. Supposed yeah. to say, how you doing? Uh, That's true. That's true. Never mind. I'm too, I, too busy living the high life to notice. Yeah, I uh, want to introduce, introduce our guest today. Uh, this guy's a friend of the show, friend of mine, personal friend of mine. God, I love this dude. Um, and uh, he, mean, he means a lot to me. How about that? Very funny dude. Comedian. Uh, I think producer, director, something like that. I mean, you've, you've done some stuff, too. Give it up for my boy, Ryan Reese, y'all. Give it up for Ryan Reese. Wow. Uh, if I could just find a woman to say those things. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know no better. So don't. Stop asking fish to start flying. <laughs> they don't get it, you know? You got to just kind of go with it. What's going on, Ryan? How you been, bro? Not good. I, I'm not living the high life. <laughs> no. Oh, no? Really? Oh, no. no. Oh, wow. good, good, good timing. I'm coming off a big loss. Why? What happened? Oh, my goodness. What happened here? Well, Ryan? it's not I, I, not a big loss, but I did have a uh, relationship woes recently. So really? I, I feel like this is a, a, a fortunate event. Okay, so here's the, let me give the background. So Ryan is a student of the game, but uh, Ryan also Ryan used to call me when it was when it was tragic. We I used to get a call from him when things was fucking up. I don't really get that call no more. And I think it's because um, we have come to a conclusion where we have come up to an understanding that Ryan likes the crazies. He likes super the, crazy. Likes mm-hmm. a crazy bitch. Loves a crazy out crazy. of her mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's exciting for him. It's like his so roller coaster. He likes he likes to fight in the crazy weight division. So that's what it oh, yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Super crazy weight. You know? Super crazy weight. <laughs> yeah. They uh he loves a crazy. And I think 
and you're I, and you're kind of you limit you have a, a limit that you reach within how to hand how much you can handle crazy because your most of your advice dante involves avoiding the crazy well to a degree, I don't, I don't or know. managing it to a degree I, you know what here's here's what i would say hmm. um and i think i i think the podcast gets a bad rep because people have a preconceived notion about what I am advocating for. And uh, and a lot of in, in the whole manosphere of things, the Andrew Tate, the this, it's I want a Bugatti and I'm a high value man and I'm this and a hundred thousand. I've I've two it's what that is not what I advocate because what would you say you do advocate for then, Dante? Well, for your own personal happiness and i think uh most people can't find their happiness because they haven't really been honest about defining what that happiness is if that makes sense so yeah, that it, does. a lot of people have a tough time understanding what they're looking for yeah so guys i mean guys from the old school will listen to black philip or listen to beige philip and be like yo i never had a threesome i'm you know, I don't, I'm not, I don't have, I don't, I'm not living with two people or I've only slept with this amount of people. And, uh, and, you know, they're almost apologetic about this and they don't need to be apologetic. If you want to live in a tent somewhere, eat bugs and berries by yourself, and that really makes you happy, then it's, I think that's fine. I, I think I, I mean like who am I to say what you know what floats your boat and I think especially when it came to Ryan earlier on you know, Ryan was like these women are very crazy. apologetic you know, very yeah. apologetic yeah still apologetic yeah <laughs> and and then and then we kind of I a remember apologetic I was, to whom though Ryan to to women or to Dante what do you mean well all right just to speak to Dante's point. Uh, just a small example, like I'll never tell people what I like or like I'll never be like, I need you to do this. What right. I will do is I'll be like, hey, I really like when a girl wears a dress. I'll say that to a, a girl I'm dating and she'll pick up on that and she won't wear the dress. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then a month later, she'll be like, you tried to make me wear a dress and I did. You made me feel bad. And I'm like, I never said I knew that. <laughs> I just said I like women. Now this is. Now, what Dante would say, if I'm speaking Dante, because I know Dante a little, Dante you would say, da You speak Dante? A little bit. Dante would say, Why well, go through all that trouble where she's going to yell at you anyway? Just tell her you want her to wear a dress. A to, a to, a to, a to C. But a that's to Dante. B, a to B, A to B. No, you speak I, I B, think, to C. No, you're I think right. in this situation, I didn't want to. Uh, I, I was playing a little bit hands off because I didn't want to necessarily lock myself into anything. Mm. okay and why would you think you would think at the minute she okay so now here's your logic in this man if she wears a dress i'm gonna have to marry her you know what i mean like yeah. that's almost <laughs> yeah i had the ring in my pocket if she had the dress on i would have had two kids right now that so, blows my mind i so gave it, her the cheat code i <laughs> gave her the cheat code heels dress oh well, this one was a bad one, Dante. This one was a super okay. So let me make this clear here: like Dante seen me like, like at death store over a woman. This yeah. is not that. This is kind of like I feel like I had a bad set. Mm. Like, like you, you pick it up on the weekend, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm like bummed out about it. I'm like, ah, I should have zigged and zagged, and like uh, if I tell people about it, I feel better. But I'm not, uh, I'm not lighting my house on fire or anything like that. <laughs> right, right, right. <clears throat> So this chick was someone that I met in Florida. She well, was very wait, nice. Right. Give the first how. What was the meetup? What was the meetup? I mean, I I don't know. Like I performed at side splitters. Mm -hmm. I was walking through the crowd. I saw this girl, but mm -hmm. I was like, ah, she's with friends, whatever. Right. I go backstage after the show. She asked the manager to get me for a photo, and I was like, oh, that's weird. Mm -hmm. She still. She. St I thought she was with a guy. So I was like, all right, later. And then she messaged me and she's like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to be at this bar. Like, you can show up if you want to. Mm -hmm. She showed up. Right. And she's like, hey, I just want to hook up with you. And I was like, oh, this feels like a setup. <laughs> <This feels, laughs> what's going on here? I'm in Florida. This feels like a scam. Why does this feel like, why did it feel like a setup to you? 
there was no, there was no like too easy. She didn't, it was too she easy. Didn't, she didn't talk to me. She just stared at me at the tables. There was no like banter. I was carrying the whole thing. I was like, I don't really feel like it. Like, and you know, later on, she told me she's like, oh yeah, I just wanted to hook up with you. I didn't really care about anything else. I didn't want to hear you yapping. <laughs> I didn't want to hear you yapping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just put your dick in me, and that would be fine. Pretty much, and uh, we had a nice weekend together, and uh, we kept in touch, you know, and uh, she would send me fun stuff that I really appreciated, and we were just like, whatever. And uh, and fun stuff in digital video form. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 I yeah, never yeah. asked for nothing, by the way. I, that's uh, another thing. I don't ask for anything. They just Hey, it's not like you're Chris D'Elia. Come on now. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is, dude, that triple ID. You know what I mean? The club ID, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. bar ID. <laughs> I had every... <laughs> I, but uh, Ryan did a background check, a mini background <laughs> check. He's got a little app on his phone that checks your DNA. The whole as, thing. As, yeah. as Ryan was picking the condom, he gets a call. He goes, "Yes, yeah, she's clear." <laughs> <laughs> I'm a terrified person. People think I'm standoffish. I'm just a terrified person. So we kept in touch. She gets in a relationship. Uh -huh. and she's like, "Hey, it's kind of serious." And she told me, and I was like, "That's really cool. Like, I respect that." Mm -hmm. I hope you go all the way with this guy. Holy shit! We had we talked about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy, okay, okay, easy, okay. easy. Okay, all right. I'm happy. I just because right. <laughs> so I thought this was something that I was unaware of. Because sometimes no, I, well, no, no, the no, listeners no. are unaware. So okay. let's let's uh, yeah, if we could get some more clarity. So what happens next, Ryan? So uh, she messaged hey, Harry, me. Harry, fuck you. All right, I was gonna me. let him. I was gonna say, let him tell his story. You I may have. Just... You may have, but <laughs> you may have not. There was a seventy percent chance you were gonna do the right thing. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. We could, have, we could have been spending twenty minutes talking about kung fu movies. You he know met, that. <laughs> you know, all right. Fair enough. You have known me for twenty years. All right. Yeah. My bad. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> So she breaks up with this guy. She messages me. She's like, I just broke up with this guy. Like, are you going to be in Florida anytime soon? I was like, yeah, I'll probably be there in like a couple of weeks. And she's like, oh, cool. I'm going to come to your show. Like, but it's far from my house. Can I stay with you? Like real, like normal, respectful stuff. And I was like, yeah, no problem, whatever. So we made plans for that Saturday. She shows up the Friday, like when I wasn't supposed to see her. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, cool. Nice to see you. I'm going to go hang out with Pete Lee. Like, that's who uh -huh. I'm here with. And uh, she's like, all right, I'll come with you. And she's like really nasty to Pete, which is like, like, why would, why would you ever be nasty to Pete? Like, I'm watching her. I like, mean, if you're not married to unless, him, unless I mean, you're there's no Pete, unless yeah. you're married to him, why would, you, <laughs> why would you be nasty to Pete? But I'm unless, unless this... you unless you've told Pete you love him. There's no reason to treat him horrible. <laughs> all right, so yeah. good. Pete Lee is the but, nicest. I mean, out of the comedy wise, is the nicest guy in the world. The nicest, like, the least offensive. But love Pete loves a fucking chick with a dungeon. He loves but, a chick to stand on his balls. That, well, and, Pete's problem is he's too nice, and then women tend to. Uh, and uh, we'll we'll get into that. I obviously think Pete likes he likes the abuse. It's it's too many times. That he is even taking fool me really... once, shame on you. Yeah. Fool me seven times in a row, yeah. Shame on me. And, you want to get married? And if it, and if it's I'll bring the nice, ball gag. And, <laughs> and if it's a nice girl, he'll turn her into a witch. So you know he'll he'll find a way to to turn her into that. But go ahead, continue. So you're hanging out with Pete, I, I, and she's being mean. You know, like, but like, oh, but like, like, and I'm. I, you have no idea how nice Pete is. Like yeah, she's yeah. being me, like overtly mean yeah, yeah. to Pete, and yeah. Pete's just taking it like, like, oh yeah, I could see how you know you went like my face. That makes sense. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> what is going on? Like this is my dude. You can't be like this to my dude. Like so, I had to pull her outside, and I was like, yo, you can't. Like that's my guy. You can't. Right, do right, this. right, 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 right. And she's like, I'm sorry, I'm going through a breakup. You had a bloop, blah, blah, bloop. But I'm really happy to see you. Not mm -hmm. an so excuse, but okay, we'll move forward. <laughs> I just <laughs> treated him like trash yeah. and destroyed trash. his life. But I mean, <laughs> I was going through stuff. So not a red flag at all. But go ahead, let's keep moving on. Well, she's like, yeah, let's go back to your hotel. And I was like, oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Wait a minute, it gets worse. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> we, we, it, we're doing what we do. Mm hmm. Dude, she starts crying. Mm. Like, I mean, like, not even like a whimper, like a, like a, like a full blown. 
Which usually what we like to do in that situation is take the dick out. We oh, don't, yeah, 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 we don't want to. We don't want yeah. to just keep pounding away and be consoling. <laughs> kind of, kind. Of. <laughs> no, but like, so like, she's like at a real. Wait, like, so is this? It, sorry, is this just hanging out in the hotel or in in the middle of? Oh no, we were, in, we in, were, in the game, in the yeah, game, baby. Oh wow, okay. in the game. Yeah. But like, yes. and, 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 and middle I, of the, know it's the middle of the second quarter. <laughs> Rain delay. Uh, <laughs> you had a team pull the tarp out. <laughs> But I also because there was screaming in the crying, like it was just like it was oh, apparently it's screaming about, in the crying, screaming as but well. Like, but like you know, like <gasps> oh why my is god, this my life, uh, like that, you, like she's because you chose it. <laughs> no, what? Who said that? Did somebody <laughs> said it. But she's talking about she's clearly upset over this guy that she thought she was gonna marry or whatever. And I was like, yeah, what am I gonna do? So like, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Like patting her on the back. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really right. saying sorry to myself. I'm like, I'm sorry, penis. I'm, so, uh, I'm Wait, sorry. Jesus. So, you poor fella. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> look at you all anxious. Uh, at this point, I'm like, never again. Never again. Oh, Wake but up. who are we talking about? You? <laughs> <laughs> you silly rabbit. So the next day, she's like, I, I want to go to breakfast. And I was like, uh, uh, you know, like she can't cry in public. Uh, so... <laughs> And also, there's got to be a part of you that is a little concerned. You go, I can't say no to any of this because right, 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 the right, second right. I She's do, in I don't your want, house, then you're the guy. I don't right? want there to be a problem where she thinks something went wrong or takes. No, oh, come no? on! It wasn't even any of that. It wasn't I, even I, don't, like that. I would be scared for that. Not that you did anything wrong. I'm not saying you did anything wrong, but Harry, I'm, where are you steering this conversation? I'm about to I hang up on you. Like, oh, what geez. are you doing? I'm saying What's I would be scared. There's a lot to be like. There's a lot of crazy there that you got to think about. Is all I'm saying in that situation. Do you want like, me to finish the story or call yes. the police? Like I <laughs> don't know what you want from me. All right, all right. Sorry. 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 No, like it was all like it was all above board and right. Like, right. Yeah. Also, like. There was there was a uh, health first, lots of condoms, all that mm -hmm. other stuff. But it didn't matter because right. we, we didn't do anything. Right. Oh, you didn't so, even get uh, to do it. You were just leading up, and she lost it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oof. So we, we go to we go to breakfast, and she's like, you know, just angry, just like like you know, the guys are such losers, and like I'm supposed to go on a date with this other guy tonight. I'm sitting there the whole time thinking, like, why is she? Like I'm, I get it, I'm, but like I'm here. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, aren't like I know we're not like. Aren't we supposed to pretend at least when we're with each other that there's uh -huh. no one else? Like while I'm here, can there be no one else? Right. So I, you know, I didn't really care. I was just like, hey, that's cool. Like I don't. And she's like, yeah, you're gonna come back. And I'm like, no. <laughs> like mm -hmm. no, this is you just tired in my room all night. This was terrible. Mm -hmm. And then like she felt like real guilty. Like oh, I'm you know blood and blue, mm -hmm. and like. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come out to the show tonight and bring in all my friends. And she did. She comes out to the show. She brings all of her friends. She oh, because that thing. makes it all better, right? Well, she also, yeah, she was being a little, like she was with her friends, but she had like a drink or two and was being crazy. And uh, we were supposed to go to some club afterwards. And I was like, "You can come if you want to." And she's like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Yo, yo, you can't make a scene. If you don't know how to be nice to my friends. I can't have you mm -hmm. around. Like mm -hmm. they're not." Bad mm -hmm. people, like you got to chill. Right, 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 right. So she sobered up. She comes to the club and she's like, "Nice, like mm. someone flipped flicked a switch or something." Oof. Like, I no I red flags there, but okay. I, I was like, "Oh, she's actually like," really, and she drove, like, because she had, she had like one drink. She sobered up. She drove, and she was like really chill, really cool, like mm. being polite, laughing at people's jokes. Mm. And I'm like, "Oh, that's really like." It was like, like you know, human. Like, that's that's really human of you, right? So some, some girl like tried to. Like literally just talked to me and Pete and she like stepped up like she was gonna stab the girl, which I thought was kind of hot. Uh, <laughs> That's of, just of course you did. <laughs> Go back to my hotel. She stayed the night, drives me to the airport the next day. Now she stayed the night or she just slept? No, no. All right, all right, all right. okay. I don't know. Drives me to the airport the next day, which I thought was like driving you to the airport? I was uh, like, this this is a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> She sat at the airport and watched my plane take off and was like taking photos of it. I don't know. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she's like, I had a good time. I really want to see you again. Bloody bloop. And I was like, yeah, cool. She's like, but listen, you know, like 
I want to get married and have kids. Mm. And I was like, oh, I don't. And I had a phone call with her that day. And I was like, listen, I, I respect you. You're dope. I don't want to go down that road. Like, mm-hmm. we're, I don't really know you. We're just hanging out. She's she's like, what are you dumping me? And I'm like, I'm not dumping you. I just don't want to. She's like, oh, I'm cool to hang out. We should hang out. Let's hang out. Mm. All right. So, you know, she's still texting me. Slowly it becomes more and more and more. And now there's phone calls every day. And like, we're talking like three hour phone calls. Now, is this of- enjoyable for you? Or is it, is it, is it, are you just, are you feel hostage? Like you're being held hostage. Well, look, the first hour is always enjoyable, but then <laughs> hour three, you're like, yeah, yeah. God, shit. But also, I, I don't have a lot of social life, so this is kind of a social. But it just, it just, it was more and more and more. Mm-hmm. And then uh, it had only been like three weeks, and she started to get very agitated. Like, when are you going to come see me? Why haven't come see me? Why don't you fly me to New York? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, uh, why don't, I don't you like? Why don't you fly you to New York? <laughs> well, here, she doesn't. She doesn't like to go out. She doesn't like to socialize. So, like, what am I going to do with you? Like, just leave you in my apartment? Like, she doesn't like people. Mm -hmm. So she, like, flipped out on me one night, and I thought about it, and I was like, you know, I need a vacation. I need a vacation. It's a holiday. It's Memorial Day. These things all make sense. Plus, her behavior was getting, like, I I would argue that it, it always was pretty, but no, no, no. She was getting, she was getting, uh, to the point, like, I don't know, you, we all pick up on cues, right? We can read the room. Yeah, so, yeah. like, it was just like, oh, wait a minute. Like, I, I feel like you're you're probably involved with someone else. And that's not my really my business. But, like, I don't think you should be asking me for things. But whatever. So I decided to go down there. Wait, oh, she said that or, or you said I that? I said that. Oh, okay. I, I said, uh, and she I said. Did. And she said. she was, like, I just like, the, I like to know where my foot's, my my step is. You know what I mean? If you go, yo, I, I'm dating other people. That's just what it is. But if you sell me on the fact that, like, I'm not dating anyone else. And then you're like, oh, wait a minute. Bing <laughs> bong. Like, who's that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so my, my ex-boyfriend, he's a detective. <laughs> <laughs> so I fly down there. Mm. Memorial Day. It's only, it's only a week and a half ago. Okay. And uh, I, I, I'm kind of anxious. I didn't sleep the night before. You know, I, I got in, couldn't get into my hotel. So I like went to an Equinox. So I, I had a full day. Like right. I did a, a lot of cardio, just doing a lot of stuff. She gets to the hotel. And like as soon as she gets in the room, she's like, she's like, just like, I'm so excited you're here. So excited. Like just bouncing off the walls. Mm. I'm like, oh, where? Like, I'm, okay. you know, I'm going. <laughs> I I'll go cool. Like the, there's like a Dita downstairs. There's like a pool. Do you want to go downstairs? And she's like, no, I don't like people. And I'm like, ah. okay. So we hang out in the room, you know, we reconnect. Mm. And, and uh, then she's like, now in retrospect, she's like, uh, she's like, you got shows tonight. Right. I was like, yeah, I got shows. She's like, I don't really like feel like going to the shows. And I'm I was going like, and just hang out. Here. It's fine. Uh, I, okay. So I go to the shows. I come back home. I bring her dinner. Mm. Which I had to find, like she had a very specific order, chicken fingers, but it was also mm-hmm. like, you know, 2 a.m. in Miami. So right, like, right. you're trying to find some chicken fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so we get back, I get back, I give her the food, and uh, she she had had some wine. Mm-hmm. Everything was like, I had had some wine, it was like all cool, it was all cool, mm-hmm. man. We're like having fun, we're laughing, mm-hmm. we're playing. She's like, I think I want some more wine, can you go get more wine? And I was like, okay, 7-Eleven, half a mile away. I sprint mm-hmm. there. <laughs> I sprint back. Mm-hmm. And I, I get back and I'm kind of like, I, the guy didn't want to sell me the wine, but I got him to sell me the wine. So, and plus I'm exhausted. So I was just like, ah, oh, like I had this great story. I got this guy mm-hmm. to sell me wine. Mm-hmm. She's like, you're really excited. Are you on cocaine? And I'm like, what? <laughs> me. I don't, you, you don't, me. Uh, you don't partake at all. No, I don't even use baby powder. Right. Nothing. <laughs> So I was like, no, that's crazy. Why would I do that? And she goes, you can't buy it on the street here. It was Fort Lauderdale. There's no one on the street. There's no right. one on the street. It's a retirement community. It was just right. me. And I was like, nah, I, would, I don't I do not do that. I don't know what you're talking about. It. And she's like, because me and my ex-boyfriend used to sell it, and we put fentanyl in it. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Um, I, thanks. Thanks. And thanks I'm, for letting me know you're a murderer. But I got that's what I called her. That's what I said. I said, are you out of your mind? I go, what is... I go now. I'm I'm like 
four drinks in, exhausted, getting this laid on me, and I'm freaked out, dude. I'm freaked out because I don't know this girl, and she lays this on me. So I go, uh... I want to I want to say the way you screamed at Harry about calling the cops early, eh, kind of the same story. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but this is it's further along in the story. But kind of, but go ahead, continue. All right, and exactly I'm, what I was worried about is all <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> so I was kind of freaked out, and uh, I love you, I, Ryan. I, I was kind of freaked out. I was kind of freaked out. I was freaked out. And I was like, uh, I, I don't know. I, like, my level of freaked out is this. I'm getting my stuff and I'm leaving. You can have the room. <laughs> That's my level of freaked out. Wow. I don't throw people out. I throw myself right. out. I'm like, right, right, is, right, right. I'm not okay. I like that so move. Start, That's a good move. That is a good move. Oh, it's just who I like. So, like, I start packing. Like, I got to, like, because I don't feel safe. I, I just didn't feel safe. Mm -hmm. She goes level 10, crying fit, starts calling all of her friends. It's like 3 a.m. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Uh, then, you know, like, uh, she she changes. Like, I never said that. I said we sold Molly. And I'm like, uh, like, I wouldn't make this up. I, 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 don't don't even do, I, don't even, I don't even do blow. You accuse me of doing blow. I didn't even know you put fentanyl in blow. I mean, I've heard about it on the news. But I don't, but go ahead, continue. So we're at, like, she's like, you're crazy. Like, this is all, I don't even know if any of it's real. Like, this mm. is, you know, maybe yeah. this is a fun story for her. Uh. Freaks out, starts crying. She's like, I'm going home. She starts packing. Oh, oh. But God. she 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 drove two hours to get there, and she, mm. she, she's drunk. And I'm like, yo, mm. I can't. Mm. I can't let you drive two hours in the dark. Like, that's a super bad idea. And she's mm. screaming at me, and she pushes past me and just bolts, right? And I'm like, this doesn't feel great. So like, I was like right behind her. I go in the hall. She's nowhere. Mm. And I'm like, there's, there's no way she sprinted to the elevator. And <laughs> well, I don't. When, you, when you're selling fentanyl, you got to know the shortcuts. That's all I'm saying. But go ahead. Yeah. So I go back in the room. I see her bag still there. So I'm like, ah, she'll be back. <laughs> so I, I, I chill out. She comes back. You know, I'm like half awake and she's like, tell me you want me to stay. Tell me you want me to stay. Okay, I want you to stay. <laughs> you had me at fentanyl is what you say at the door <laughs> as you let her in. So she stays. She stays. And the next day, you know, I did ask. I was like, hey, uh, like when you left the room, like I went right behind you. And like, there's no way you could have made it to the elevator downstairs. And she's like, yeah, I knew you were going to chase me. So I took the stairs. And I'm mm. like. Oh, why would you know that? <laughs> like, why is this thought out? Mm. You were right. Shortcuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next, Say my first rodeo. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, it's fine. And then, like, uh, we were going to go to dinner, but, like, she didn't want to sit, be seen at a table that could be seen. So I had to find, like, a corner for her to sit in. Well, we know oh, why she, now. She's a, a, a known dealer in that area. <laughs> <laughs> She's about it's, those streets in she, Fort, Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> She's in them streets. She's like, I don't like people. I think the people don't like you. I think that yeah. might be the problem. Because <laughs> you killed somebody's sister with a bad bag. Man, I, I mean, I'd be but also, about being seen. Well, yeah, but also, like, this is a girl that didn't in, like didn't watch my comedy, didn't laugh at any of my jokes. Like, after a while, I was like, I feel like you're doing this on purpose. Like, you wouldn't even acknowledge I made a joke. Uh, and I was like, uh, this feels like you just don't want to give me any. Oh, you mean when there's a, an interaction? Yeah. It's not. Yeah, yeah, oh, nothing wow. giving me nothing, and I was wow. like, "No, I think you hate." I was like, "I think you hate men, <laughs> or, or at least me, right?" <laughs> well, to, she didn't want like a smile, like that. She didn't want to give me the acknowledgement of a joke. Mm. So whatever, the night's fine, goes great, uh, or as good as it can go. Takes me to the airport the next day. Cool. Yeah, you know she's laughing. You know she's like, "Oh my god, we're like kids." You know we're both leaving the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get on a plane, go home. It's only been a week and a half. Spoke to her a couple of times, but like every every interaction's all about her, just all about her, right? All about her, right? So, so the other night I had this this party. She knew I was at it. Mm -hmm. It's a party. I had to put some stuff together. Went super late. And she's like, "Hey, like I really want you to call me when you're done." Mm -hmm. I didn't really think anything of it. Right. They get out of the party and. uh She's like, 
Yeah, like I don't think we should. I don't. First, she goes, "Can you fly? I want. I want you to fly me to New York. You should fly me to New York." Bear in mind, we we speak every day. I'd spoken to her the night before. It was fine. I go, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a great idea. Like, I can't have you losing your mind around my friends. And like, I, I don't know what to do with you. I don't know where to bring you. I don't know how to. Uh, like, you would just be in my tiny apartment. It's not mm-hmm. like really conducive. And uh, then she's like, yeah, I don't really feel this is going anywhere. I kind of want marriage and kids, and you don't. So I don't think we should see each other. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, you we just would. asked me for a trip to New York. Yeah. Mm. And I, I said, I don't think it's a good idea. And now you're like, we're done. And I'm like, this, <laughs> this is, I was like, yeah, you're, I said, you're working you're, me. You're working me. You're working uh-huh. me for what you can get. That's what's happening here. And then uh-huh. uh, she starts crying, and I might have called her a bad actor. Oh, you called her bad. <laughs> she, I said, we just, we just stop you, bad actor. <laughs> she, she was angry. angry. Sandy Hook. She was that Sandy. Yeah. It's a crisis actor. Is that what you're saying? It just, it just, it caught me off guard, dude. Like I wasn't <laughs> expecting that call. And then uh, the next day, she sent me some like weird text or whatever, and I was like, yeah, yeah, like I get what you're saying. Totally no problem. But and she sends me like 48 texts. Like she's breaking up with me like over like four hours, and I kept going, mm. okay, I agree, no problem. Uh-huh. She keeps trying to draw me into fights, right? Like. Just slamming, slamming things to get like, you, you know, you hate me because I didn't do my nails. I'm like, mm. whoa! I go, yo, like, I never right. asked you to get your nails done. Right. You tried to get your nails done. It didn't right. happen, and I didn't even call it out. Like, what does that have to do with me? Mm. So, I, but I have known you for close to twenty years, and I've seen you dump a lot of chicks for bad nails. I've seen that happen, no matter, <laughs> how, no matter how hot they are. Come on, a chip on that enamel. You can you you can hit the bricks, bitch. So, uh, but it, well, it's I, well, wait, wait. So, like, I had noticed the pattern of her talking me less and sending me less photos. And here's what I know: if the photos ain't going to me, they're going to someone else. Because so they're photos going. Are, yeah. Those photos are still getting shot. No right. doubt about it. Right, right, right. So, like, uh, she, I let her lose her mind on text. Uh, I spoke to her. Oh, this is me. I like to leave things on good terms. So I was like, hey. No drama. Still totally get what you're saying. Uh, you know, sorry for the bad interaction. You just want to be friends. And she's like, oh, we have, you know, like just started losing your mind again. But immediately, immediately she goes, yeah. So like, yeah, I went on a, a date yesterday and we hit it off. Yeah. And I go, wait. For how long? I go, how I go long? one. I go, you, wait, I go, wait, 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 wait. You met someone and dated them in 24 hours since we stopped speaking. Uh, and she's like, yeah. I'm like, no, no, that's a lie. You were, you had this guy teed up. You were talking yeah. to him. Yeah, this yeah. Timeline doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you yeah. dumped me and then met this guy and went out with and him. And what did, what did she say? Well, when she says we hit it off, I know what that means. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eh. All right. So and then she uh, goes through this whole thing about like, we don't get a lot. Like, and I go, no problem. I get it. I get it. I get it. And uh, it's like, I want marriage and like, you'd be a good guy, but you need therapy. Just hitting me with, I need therapy. Mm-hmm. I need therapy. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, yeah, cool, whatever, you know, and it, you know. So here's, here's, I have a, I have a new analogy, right? Oh, I was, oh, by the way, she wouldn't, she wouldn't take my, this is a girl I spoke to for three hours every night. She wouldn't take my call yesterday. She made me fucking text it all. And I was like, oh. yo, I don't like texting. And she was like, well, use the voice record. And I was like, ah, forget it. Uh, <laughs> like, this is too so, much work. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, so I have this analogy, like, say for instance, if, uh, you're talking to your mom or your dad, whatever. And, and she said, you know, I never told you this, but you have a, you have an uncle that I never told you about. And you go, really? Oh, I didn't have an, I didn't know. And you go, yeah, but he's, He's a little off. Um, he's at this sanitarium. Here's the address. Maybe you want to, you know, meet him, right? So you go to this this sanitarium. This is, you know, this place for mentally disturbed people. And you get there, and he has a big foam cowboy hat like they wear at the NFL, you know, like, like the, and he's got a trench coat on and boxers. And he's got one scuba flipper, right? And one sneaker on, right? If you met that guy, you would go, if he said, listen, let me let me give you some wisdom of the world. You know what you need to do with your life. You would immediately 
put shut him, him uh, down. Uh, shut yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, or you would listen pay to it, no it mind. but you would pay it no mind. The problem is when the girl is hot, we have a tendency to think that, oh. Pick up a notepad and you're, start. Yo, really? <laughs> you know how you listen to them? <laughs> <laughs> and, and what you have to do is you have to recognize, like, when you get a woman and she's insane, in your head, you got you to gotta go, oh, you're fucking crazy. Like, silly me. But because she's hot. Because you want, you know, you have you desire her in a sexual way, or you fucked her, or you haven't fucked her. All of a sudden, you put this person in a different. Um, uh, who was the girl? Uh, uh, Rose Garden's wife. Who was the girl that was uh, on the Noah show? Noah Gargan Shorts is wife. Uh, Gar- Esther. Uh, what's her? Esther something. Is it Rosenberg Comedian. too? Rosen- I don't something. think it's Esther Rosenberg. But something I- like that. Well, she he she's Esther been one- Feinberg or Steinberg. Yeah, same like. Benny Baumstein Baum, something like that. And uh, she goes, she she's talking to us. And every time we think we got a bead on what she's talking about, she says something insane. And then it hits me and I go, oh, you're fucking crazy. Right. And she goes, yeah, you didn't know that. And I go, I, my bad. And so I think what has to happen is we have to look at people for what they are. And when they're telling you who they are, you got to believe him. I mean, if you if I'm in a situation where I'm starting out with the fact that and first of all, anybody treating treating Pete Lee, it's just it's like it, kicking yeah. a puppy. What do you do? Yeah. Yeah. Why would you do that? Um, you know, I unless, mean, unless unless, of course, you're in a relationship with him. But right, why right, would you? Right, but then it's, fine, then it's fine. Then, then it's fine. Then he kind of brings it upon himself. That's neither here nor there. But why would you beat up on, on a sweet, puppy? Innocent Pete Lee. <laughs> Yeah, so then he you took talking. it. He took oh, it, by the of way. Course. He, didn't, oh. he, didn't, he didn't run away. He sat there like, oh, yeah, that's he my has, boy. He has, he has, he wear, Beatley wears the Black Panther suit where it absorbs all the punches. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just never expels them afterwards. So, um, I but, got a photo uh, of this girl talking to him and Pete's face being like, <laughs> <laughs> he's such a sweetie. But the thing is, the thing I think is that we have to make decisions about the people we are. And and one of the things that I think, you know, like I, I was getting to the point where you started telling this story, which the story is amazing. Um, but I, the thing that kind of, I remember the, the revelation you and I were talking and I said, Ryan, you just like crazy women. And you looked at me like, you know how like a puppy does, and then you were like, I, I think I do. I like a crazy bitch. And so um, whatever that is, I mean, maybe it's your roller coaster. Maybe it's your bungee jumping. Maybe it's your parachute. You love a crazy chick and you enjoy it. Right. And I think that was the moment where you really kind of found happiness. That was your bugs and and berries in a tent somewhere. Like You're missing one point. Hot crazy chick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That's important. Oh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, It's really the most important part. Let's be. (laughs) It's it's a big deal. Yeah, but you know what? A crazy regular chick. mm, mm, He'll, you know, it's not enough spice. He likes. You're not gonna see Ryan out there holding hands with the woman who shot Selena. You know, (laughs) 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 he's like, you know, that Barbara Bush. Mm-hmm. Now, Brit- now Britney, now Britney Spears. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, she's. I heard she's on meth. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's like, this is my time. I can fix her. <laughs> I can fix her. So it's it's funny that you know I remember that revelation where you were like, oh yeah, I do. I really, I guess, yeah. And then everything like the anxiety, and your happiness went up tenfold because it was like, oh, this is what I am. And it's okay to be that way. Like, it's okay to it's okay to not want a threesome. It's okay to want one girl and just have one relationship. It's okay to want three women and run around and juggle women. It's you can decide what you want, what your you can define what your happiness, and it's okay. And nobody has the right to tell you that that's just that's not good enough because any woman who I've ever met 
never has told me has and never has not told me what she wanted. As yeah. soon as you, you, they don't ever bite their tongue about. No, I I got a a quick story out of one of the guys that I consult with, you know, and I've been working with him a while, and he kind of he he we we we've been he's been consulting with me a lot, but he I don't think he believes me in the things that I say. I think he says it, and he doesn't think that I, he doesn't think I'm a liar, but he just doesn't think it works for him, right? So he goes and he um he goes out. He was on a trip and uh he, no he the girl is here. He meets the girl here. Um, they they hook up for a couple of days, right? They make out, you know, whatever they hook up. She goes up overseas, right? I'm not gonna mention the thing because I don't want it to be personal, but uh. He, she goes, they hang out for like three or four days. She goes, you know, I don't know where this is going. I, I feel like I really like you and I want to. So he get, he calls me up one day. He goes, oh, yeah, I got a girlfriend. Really? Like, I mean, I, I, I haven't spoke to you in a week. Yeah, I got a girlfriend because she basically said, I don't know where this relationship is going. And he was like, oh, oh. I, I mean, I guess where where do you want it to go? Well, I just want to be with you and such and such. Now, he, so he tells me he's got this girlfriend. He um, they're talking on the phone every day. He books a flight, seven hour flight. Tells her he tells her he's gonna go come and see her. He books a seven hour flight. Ryan, you trying to figure out where what what city this is? <laughs> From seven hours, <laughs> like I'm going. Uh, no, 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 no. I I heard a very similar story, right? But not about your guy. Not so about your he, guy. He gets the flight, gets on the flight. He call, tells her, "Look, I'm coming to see you on such and such date, which was like last Monday." She um, he goes there, calls her when he gets there. Yo, I'm here. She goes, "Oh, well, I didn't really know that you were booking the flight." So I, he he's like, I told you I was, I, I actually said I was booking the flight. We had a conversation. We were zooming as I was booking my ticket. <laughs> right, right, right. My seat. <laughs> um, oh, I'm at work now. I'll hit you up later. Blah, blah, blah. Right. You, you, um, so that was Monday. He calls me on Friday. He calls me on Wednesday. Yo, such and such. And I go, D -d it's over. The relationship is over. I go, literally, if you booked a flight and a hotel to see somebody and they're not anxious, I mean, at least you got the, oh, I'm so glad you're here, blah, 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 like bouncing off the wall. But if she goes, yeah, I'll hit you up. And then two days go by. So he calls me up and I say, do not respond. Do not call. She knows you're there. She knows how to get in contact with you. If you get in contact with her, then what you're doing is you're putting pressure an agency over her in terms of what she wants to what she, you're, you're you're guiding her choices when the reality is you want to give give her the space to make the choices that she wants you to do because you don't want this to last any level of time if she's if she's not interested i don't want to fuck anybody who doesn't want to fuck me so she, he goes okay I, I shouldn't talk call her i go absolutely not he calls me Friday. He's like, look, can you please talk me down? I, was, I, I really want to reach out to this girl, and I just want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. And I go, absolutely not. Absolutely. He goes, well, I can see her. She's watching my my Instagram stories. Because he he's hanging out with his friends, and, they, and she's what? But never once called him. I said, do not call her. And never call her again. So one of the things that I've learned in, in time is that a lot of times we talk and we say things and we're having a discussion, but you but you're really talking to the person with the foam hat and the scuba the boxes. You're talking to your crazy uncle, and you think you're having a real conversation with you think, oh, we'll just we'll we'll discuss this. But you you you're dealing with the crazy person. 
Um, I, I Look, just that heard... happens even in relationships where you love oh, the sure. person and the person is saying every once in a while they, they go, you have to know when they're off the rails and you have to ignore them and move forward. Really? Well, Harry, you think there's a level that, of Harry, trust? Yeah. Oh, happened. yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely, yeah. Sometimes well, the you... person you love, you found that you love the most in the world, <laughs> every once in a while you look at him and you go, what the fuck? Who the fuck is this? Who For at you? least a minute. <laughs> And you got to know how to ride that minute out and just keep your head going. And then you, when she's back, you go, hey, well, how you doing? How was that little trip you took? I heard this 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 little wives tale uh, that I that just resonated with me. He goes, the tiger and a, and a donkey is arguing. And the donkey says the sky, he says the grass is blue. And the tiger says, the, no, it's green. And they're arguing back and forth. And they go, they said, well, let's la ask the king of the jungle. So they go to the lion, the tiger, and the, and the donkey goes to the, to, the, to the lion and says, I told him that the, the grass was blue. He go, am I not? Will you tell him the, the, the truth of that? And the lion goes, absolutely, donkey, you're absolutely right. And he prances off. He goes, not, he goes, well, what are you going to, the donkey says, what are you going to do about this? He goes, I'm going to punish the tiger accordingly. And he says, see, I told you, and the donkey runs off. And then the tiger says uh, to the lion, you know that the grass is green. He goes, and I'm telling the truth. Why are you, why are you punishing me? He says, I'm not punishing you because the grass is green. He goes, I'm punishing you because you're arguing with a jackass. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and I always say, like we, you, and I get when she's smoking hot, when you, when there's that pair bond, and you're, you're into her because she's attractive, but you're seeing something, you're giving somebody this, this, this control and this access to you that they don't deserve, that they don't even have the emotional or the mental capacity to have. Can I, can I use one of your quotes? That sure. Got, that I've used. Uh, I've given this to so many comedians, and uh, it's almost like my little prayer that yeah, I say. Uh, your your footprints. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I need, when I'm like, just remember the words. These and I, I love it so much. These are your words. You say, uh, "Stop inviting her to the party. <laughs> You're the party. You are the party. Stop inviting yeah. her." Yeah. And that was yeah. for the girl that when you were like, "She's crazy," you were like, "Yo." Yeah. Let her date the dumb dudes. Yes. We're in the party. Don't yeah. worry about it. You are the Stop party. inviting her. And it's so interesting how we're around so many creative people and so many dope guys. And dope, I mean, just dope people in general, super intelligent and creative people. And their life is not like that. Even on the lowest level, you know, their life is not like that. And, and, and to be a part of you, it's like, I have to tell this to Godfrey all the time. Yo, you forget who the fuck you are. Like thousands of people come out to see you. I'm 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 on the road with Godfrey, one dude, and the phone rings, FaceTime. It's fucking Shaq. And Shaq is like, Godfrey, uh, do an impression of uh Cat Williams. <laughs> so, hey Shaq, what's up? Come on, hurry up. I got people here. Do an impression of Cat Williams. He does Cat Williams. Oh, that sucks. Mine's is better. Then he does an impression. Shock does an impression of of Cat, which exactly sounds exactly like Shaq. He's like, "Hey man, don't, 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 don't you you fucking around with this bullshit?" And you're like, you're, "You suck." He hangs up the phone. Fucking ten minutes later, we get a call from um uh who's the guy Gerard uh, Ger uh Gerard Michael. Butler no Gerard, oh, Butler. Gerard Butler Gerard Butler hi Godfrey what's up I'm coming in town and I'm like you're then then he'll he'll be talking to some 25 year old and I'll hear him and be in the car and he'll be like the girl will be like he'll be like why are you yelling at me and and he's like she's she's like blah, blah, blah. I can hear it and I'm going why He's but he's so shocked. He's going, why? Why are you yelling at me? And I'm going, mm -mm, hang up, hang up. He goes, but I'm, I'm, I. If you're, if you're busy, you're in New York. Come, just I would ask you to pull up. I didn't come here for you. I did. I, I can't. I tell you, I had other things. Hang up the phone. He and then I go, why are you in? Why are you giving this spaces? Because 
when you're talented and when you're working on yourself and when you're interesting, when you're really being somebody who's kind of pursuing your life and pursuing your life, you're not, you don't really ever look down and see how far you've come. Like I say this to uh, Nathaniel uh, McIntyre all the time. He's like, yeah, you know, I mean, what the fuck? That ain't screaming. And I'm like, God, you're so busy looking up to what everybody else got that you're not looking down to see how far you, you come. You're a funny dude and people respect what you do. You do what you love. He also has a great relationship with his girl. He's making money and, and he's screaming, ah, you know, I got fucking rats in my house. Fucking cats. And he's screaming. And I'm like, dog, you, you, you don't, I go, you got to remember that you're the party. That you got to remember who you are because people will tell you, they'll attack you and they'll bring you down. To you are the one that needs the therapy. You, I mean, I'm just going to go on, on record and say you're not the one feeding people fentanyl. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's... You, you know, <laughs> and and what's funny is when it comes to our self-esteem, something I mean, sure, we're shocked about the fact that she says fentanyl, but we don't even factor it in to her assess. Like, you don't get to tell me shit. You're murdering people with fentanyl. Like you don't get to have an opinion. And it's so difficult to stay focused on the reality of things and how it really is. And, and uh, um, you know, and how people who are highly unqualified are not even can't even hold your dick on a slow Tuesday. And then they're attacking you and, and, and treating you like shit. Let's let, plug your shit real quick. And then let's go on the Patreon side. We're going to do it. And I'm going to dig in deep with this a little bit. What you got going on? Uh, you can find me at uh, RR Comedy. Two R's and the word comedy on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to go live my best life. Uh, I'm taking a bunch of photos with me and models. <laughs> Just I'm going to do the sixth grade thing and try to you know make her angry. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you, let's be honest. You're going to be with models anyway. And uh, all you really have to do is take the picture. And posted. That's 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 a Tuesday night for you. So, uh, Harry, talk to me. Uh, you, can, you can catch. It's actually, Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> so there's time this week. There's a, you got a couple days. It's he big. needs a rest. He needs a he little needs rest. A rest. You need a rest day. Uh, you could go to all my social media. Not so many models on it, but just a lot of other impressive comedy stuff as well. At <laughs> uh, Harry Turjanian is uh, TikTok, YouTube, and also uh, I do relationship consultations as well. Uh, so if you want to email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com, uh, we could set up a consultation. Ooh, uh, you don't know how to get me. Google me, bitch. You know how to get me. Uh, Instagram is the Dante Nero. YouTube, I'm putting more stuff up on YouTube. So I'm trying to build my YouTube channel, which I've never really done in 20 years. So check that out. Uh, and, and don't forget if you don't forget to sign up for the Patreon, it's www.patreon.com slash manschool202. And if you want a consultation, go to dantenero.com, click on consult. You can book time with me. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Yo, I love y'all. See y'all on the Patreon side.